our channel Ashok IT. My name is Ashok. In this video, we will understand what is GitHub, why we need to go for GitHub, and how to work with GitHub. All right, let's get started. What is GitHub? GitHub is a repository server. By using this GitHub, we can store project source code. In your project, multiple developers will be available and those developers will be working from different different locations. Some team members are in Hyderabad, some team members are in Bangalore, some team members are in Chennai. They all are working for same project. So developers are working from different different locations. All the developers code should be integrated at one place. So how to integrate the code? That is the first problem. Okay. And the second problem is how to monitor changes happening in the project source code. As we discussed, multiple developers are working. They are working on different different tasks on daily basis. How to track changes? So these are the two challenges will be available when we are developing a project. How to integrate project to source code at one place, which is done by multiple developers. Even if you integrate all the code by taking from all the developers, how to track the changes? Who modified that code? When that code modified? Why that code modified? To track all the changes, we need to have a mechanism. In order to resolve these two problems, we are going for GitHub. By using this GitHub, we can integrate project to source code at one place and we can monitor the changes which are happening to our source code. So that's why it is called as repository server. By using this GitHub, we can create one repository in the central location. So let's assume that this is my repository. So for our project, multiple developers are available. They are working from different, different locations. All these developers can connect to single repository and they can perform their operations. This is collaborative work, right? So this developer assume that he is working from Hyderabad location. This developer is working in Pune location. This developer working in Delhi and this developer working in Chennai. But they all are belongs to same team. They all are working on same project. So the developers working in Hyderabad, Pune, Delhi and Chennai, all the developers code should be integrated at one place. That's where source code repository comes into picture. By using this GitHub, we can create that source code repository and we can share that repository information to all the developers so that they can integrate their code at one place. Once the code is integrated at one place, DevOps team can take that code from the repository and they can perform build and deployment activities on the project. Alright, so why we are going for GitHub and what is GitHub? I hope these two questions are clarified. GitHub is a repository server which is used to integrate project source code at one place and this repository is going to provide tracking which developer modified the code, when they modified, why modified, what modified, complete monitored access will be available. For example, I am a developer, I have done some coding in the repository yesterday. But today when I see that, my code is not available in the repository. Easily I can track it, who, when, why, what. So that monitored access will be provided by repository. Fine. So in order to work with the Git repositories, we can create a free account in the GitHub. They will provide 5 GB of free space. If you want to go for commercial, the monthly licenses and yearly licenses also available in the GitHub. For a practice purpose, we can use free tier account in the GitHub. Once you sign up in the GitHub, you can create a repository. There are two types of repositories available in the GitHub. One is called as public repository and another one is called as private repository. What is the difference between public repository and private repository. Public repository means anybody can access our repository. They can see what content available in our repository, but they cannot modify. If we give the permission, then only they can modify our public repository also. Private repository means nobody can see our repository. Nobody can modify the content available in the repository. If you want your team members to perform the operations on the repository, then we need to give permissions for them. So there are two types of repositories. One is public repository. Another one is private repository. All right. Next one. 
how we are going to perform operations with the repository whenever we create a repository for every repository one repository url will be generated that repository url we need to share with our team members who are working in that project by using that url they can connect with the repository they can store their code in the repository they can take the code from the repository they can see the history that means what are the commits that are happening in the repository we can perform those operations here in order to communicate with this git repositories in our systems we are going to install git client software in every team members computer the git client software will be installed by using that git client software these team members will connect to repository what are the git client softwares are available there are several client softwares are available to communicate with the github repositories one of the most famous client is git bash by using git bash we can execute the commands and we can perform operations source tree we can use as a client software eclipse we can use as a client software like that there are several softwares available which are for free of cost by using them we can communicate with our repository right so what operations our team members will perform with the git repository creating a repository storing the code into repository taking the latest code from the repository sending our local code to repository like that we can perform several operations with the repository to perform operations with the repository we are going to execute commands so let's understand what are those commands how to work with github in order to work with github first we need to understand architecture of the github right so here first we are going to create a repository in the github.com the repository that we are creating in the github.com is called as central repository some people will call that also as remote repository here in this remote repository all our project source code will be available all the developers will connect with this central repository and will store their source code how a developer will send that code to that central repository let's understand that process so here assume that developer is here developer is using one computer in that he is creating the files he is modifying the files when the developer modify the files directly he cannot send that files to central repository git will not allow that we need to follow a process what is that process first where the developer is working that is called as working area in his laptop in some folder in some directory he will be creating the new files or he will be modifying the existing files once the files are created or modified if he want to commit that file to the remote repository or central repository first he need to add that file to staging area what is staging area any files which are ready to commit those files are called as staged files how to add the files to staging area to add the files to staging area we are going to use git add command by using git add command we can add the files to staging area once the file is added to staging area he is going to use git commit command so by using git commit command we can commit that file with a message why we are committing git commit hyphen a message we are going to give when we execute git commit command that file will go from staging area to local repository in our system git will maintain a local repository once the file is committed to the local repository from this local repository we can send that file to central repository to send the file to the central repository we are going to use a command called git push command here whenever you modify a file or newly create a file first we need to add the file to the staging area to add the file to the staging area git add file name which file you want to add it if you want to add all the files which are modified and created git add dot you can use it will add all the files to staging area staging area means the files are ready to come if you want to commit it then we can execute git commit command with a message why you are committing that file when you do the commit the files will go from staging area to local repository once the files are in the local repository you can execute git push command when you execute push command files will go from local repository to central repository got it suppose other developers also working with this central repository they have stored their code into central repository i want to take the latest code from the central repository to take the latest code from the central repository we are going to execute a command called git pull command we are going to execute a command called git pull command 
So whenever we execute a git pull command, the latest changes will come to our local repository. From the local repository, the changes will come to our working area. Suppose there is a new developer. He joined in the project today. He don't have any project in his local system. He want to download the project from the central repository. For that developer, they are going to use a command called git clone URL. So what is our repository URL? Git to clone URL. Then the complete repository will be downloaded to that developer system. If you want to take only latest changes which are not there in your system, then you can go for pull command. If you want to take the complete repository into your system, then you can go for git clone command. So what are the commands we understood here? We understood git add command, which is used to add the files to staging area, and we understood git commit command hyphen yum message why you are committing and we understood git push command and we understood git pull command and we understood git clone command what is the purpose of clone clone is used to download the repository to our local what is the purpose of pull command to take the latest changes from the repository push command to send our changes to central repository from the local repository what is git commit to commit our changes from staging area to local repository what is the add to add the files to staging area for example i have added one file to staging area but at this moment i don't want to commit that file i want to unstage that file to unstage that file we can use a command called git restore by using git restore, we can unstage the file which is available in the staging area. Like this, we can use several commands which are available in the git. By using those commands, we can perform operations with the git repository.